take the potted thing and you remove the thing out of the potted thing and then you get to the stuff in the thing. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a PR haul and first impressions video for y'all today. So I've got a lot of goodies here to run through. So I'm gonna run through the different products, show them to you, show you some swatches, let you know my first impressions if I've tried these. A lot of the stuff I've been trying out. So I've got some thoughts for y'all and yeah, we're just gonna do a little PR haul. So let's get into first it. First off, I got the cutest little bag from Tweezerman. It says, hashtag off you glow. And I think it's so like retro looking, the bag. I think the bag is absolutely adorable. So this has got like several different um, kind of little like beauty tools in here. There's a little like um, hair tie thingy. This thing I have not tried yet. I keep honestly forgetting to use this because um, honestly I don't really like use these sort of products. So I don't have really like thoughts on this. It's one of these little, let me get it out so you can actually like hear me talk. It's one of these little like um, small brushes for cleaning your face. And I've heard it's really soft. Oh yeah, that's very nice and soft. So I will try that out. Feels like really nice and sturdy. Like this part feels really nice and sturdy and like heavy. So very nice. I'm excited to try that. Oh, I don't want to mess it. I'll put that on in a second. I don't, I don't want to mess up the bristles. That's adorable. And it even like leans on its side. So I guess so it can kind of like dribble out or whatever the water so anyway that's cool and then also in here there's a little pouch and in this pouch there is a little like extractor tool for like you know taking care of your zits and this is the coolest little thing this is like a double duty sort of a product and i have tried this out and i do really like this this is the let me see what it's called the bright complexion facial derma planer an easy and safe at-home device to exfoliate and rejuvenate skin with results that rival professional dermaplaning. High-quality stainless steel blades exfoliate the top layer of skin to clear away dead skin and promote skin renewal. Something popped up on my phone. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was like instantly distracted by something on my phone. Okay, so it's like a little like blady sort of a thing and it came with extra little blades in here. So you can like exfoliate one direction and then you can... Um, take off hair the other direction, apparently. Let's see. Hold skit taut, hold skit, nope. Hold skin taut with one hand and hold dermaplaner in opposite hand. Dermaplaner, bra <laughs> dermaplaner blade. Dermaplaner blade should be at 90 degree angle parallel to skin. With, down, with light pressure, move in short downward strokes over forehead, skin, chin, and neck. May be used in an upward motion to remove vellus hair. Maximum three strokes per area, maximum one time per week. So I've used this a couple of times. I would say I like it more for exfoliating, like the dermaplaning, whatever. Um, for the removing hair, I like the little like other you know, the ones that you've seen everybody use, the little tiny, I don't know what they're called, sort of little tiny razor blade thingies. I like that better just because I can get the angle just right. But for this, for the exfoliating, I think this is really cool. And it's very kind of like retro looking. So that was a really cute package. Next, I got this huge, beautiful box from Milk Makeup. I've already mentioned these in several videos and already done a specific swatch video on these. So I would say if you want to know more info and see all these swatched, one of them's missing because I've been wearing it. I don't even know where that is actually somewhere on my vanity, which is a total mess right now. Anyway, if you want to see these in swatches and hear more info, check out those videos. But um, just a quick run through, I think these are awesome. Did I tell you what they are? They're the Milk Makeup Eye Pigments and they're just super pigmented, really easy to work with. They wear so well. I think they're awesome, such nice products. Then I got a really beautiful package from Elizabeth Arden and there are several different products in here that I had never tried before. So first off, these are the beautiful color, bold defining 24 hour liquid eyeliners. And honestly, like, I didn't know how I would feel about these because I struggle with this kind of liquid liner. The like, it's more of the traditional like brush sort of an applicator and I'm not the most talented with these. So I kind of wondered, but after using, I first used this one. This one is Gilded Brown. So I've got everything swatched here for you. So Gilded Brown, 
And then there is a blue one. The blue one is, what's that one called? What is the blue one? There it goes. Electric blue is the blue one. So really pretty. So I've tried both of those and then they also sent me um, Dark Valentine. I haven't tried that one yet, but I really do like these. If I can like figure out how to apply them really well and like just kind of practice with that kind of a brush applicator. They're really pigmented. Um, they wear very well and they're just pretty. Like I was wearing this one one day and Tim was like, I really like your blue eyeliner. So it's just fun. And the Gilded Brown has like some shimmer in it. So that's really beautiful. So I think these are really nice. Next, there is the, my hair is like getting in my face. This is the beautiful color Bold Illuminating Liquid Highlighter, and I have that swatched right there. So this is kind of like um, the packaging of it. Let me show you a swatch real quick. There it is. The packaging is kind of like the um, Pure Cosmetics, oh, I can't remember what they're called, those little eye pigments. So it's like the potted sort of a thing, and then you remove the little thing you, you take the potted thing and you remove the thing out of the potted thing and then you get to the stuff in the thing. <laughs> and then it's like, you know, in the little squishy. I'm being so descriptive right now, but you know, you see it. You know what I'm talking about. It's It's got that little like netting sort of a packaging to it, but there's a lot of product in it. So that's really nice. You can actually like really get to it. You don't have to like dig down into the netting. Um, this is pretty. I've worn this by itself. I've worn this under things. It's just a beautiful, like golden highlighter. It's a very golden sort of a highlighter, but that's, I think that's really pretty. And it's um, a little bit goes a long way with it. And like, just when you rub on it, it doesn't go anywhere. And when I've worn it, I haven't noticed it fading. So that's really pretty. And then the last thing they sent me is the beautiful color Bold Liquid Lipstick. And I have the shade Passionate Pink. No. Passionate Peach 08. So this is kind of like interesting packaging. It looks like this. I like it because it's something different and I like playing with makeup. So I like different sort of out of the box kind of things. So it looks like that. You push up on this and the product comes out of a little like spongy end dealy. And this is a beautiful peachy color. It's like a neutral sort of a peach really really pretty i've liked the way that this has worn um it's kind of like a creamy sort of a um, lip color so it really doesn't ever set down to be like that super matte liquid lipstick or anything like that it's just more of like a long wearing lip lacquer is kind of how i would describe it but really comfortable so i really do like the formula on it um a little bit difficult to get the um precision on your lips just right because of that spongy applicator so I would say probably use a lip liner with it just to get that kind of like shape to your lips and then fill them in with this because comfort wise, it's really nice, really love the color. Really the only negative would be getting the application just right. It might be a little difficult with that sponge tip applicator. The other thing that I received recently is the Smashbox Influencer Box Box. I was really excited to be picked for this. Um, it included one of the cover shot palettes and I got the one in soft light. So this is the soft light eye palette, really cool packaging to it. So I'd also tried, um, what's it called? Golden hour. I got that, um, in gratis from Sephora. I really like that one. And I like the, um, consistency of these shadows. I like the formula but these are just so light. So I would say, I would check one of these out, but probably not this one, unless you're looking for that no makeup makeup look. If that's what you're going for, then you may really like this palette. Um, the two lightest shades are really pretty, but when you get into kind of like the, you know, creamy, peachy sort of shades, they're just so light. It's not that they're not pigmented, it's just the coloring of them like the particular shades, um, at least on my skin tone, they just really blend into my skin. And it's like, where, where did they go? So they're there. It's just the coloring of them. So like I said, I've tried out Golden Hour and I really like that one. So that tells me that I like the formula of them. It's just more the coloring in this specific palette. So unless you're looking for that no makeup makeup look, I would probably skip out on this one and check out one of the other ones. 
but I'm really excited that I got to try it. Um, and then I also got the, what is this called? The Be Legendary Liquid Metal, and this is in Brains and Bronze. So this is really cool looking. It's a really pretty bronzy sort of a color. Now this is kind of a, I don't even know, like a lip lacquer sort of a texture to it. Um, I really have only swatched this. I haven't worn this on my lips just because it's, it's, a, I'm going to have to like specifically, you know, plan a makeup look around that kind of a color. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of a more edgy out there sort of a shade, but just in swatching it, the applicator is kind of like a scoopy doe footy sort of a thing. Like a little, like, I don't know, looks like a little bird foot. <laughs> or something. So it's that kind of an applicator. Um, it really does look cool. It looks like, you know, melted metal, um, but it doesn't seem like it's going to set down to be like a liquid lipstick. It just seems like more of that lip lacquer, but that metal looking lacquer. So yeah, there's that. I also received the Merle Norman Spring Collection. This is so adorable. Wait until you see the packaging. It looks like denim which I love denim, so that's precious. It's not actual denim, it's just like the printing of the denim, but I think it's just super duper cute. So I couldn't wait for this collection to come out. So first off, um, this is one of the eye quads. This is Bluebell. So that's what that looks like. Really pretty options there. It's like kind of a, I don't know, like a fun, different sort of a springtime palette. So there is that one. And then this next one, oh wait, that's the duo. Let's get to that in a second. This next one is an eye palette. This is in Status Glow, and this is the more neutral one. This one's really nice. Now I have noticed, I was most excited about Bluebell when I was seeing the, um, just like promo pictures and stuff like that. It just seems like fun and different and out there. And I do really like it. I have the blue on my lower lash line, but after wearing them both, I actually like this one more. I find that this um, wears better. The Bluebell um, quad is really nice, but it needs some kind of a base to hold it on your eyes. I really didn't find that with these. These really stuck around, blended well. The other ones, you just might have to do a little like tweaking with your, you know, prepping and what stuff you use under them. I have swatches I'm gonna show you in just a second. Next, there is a blush duo. This is in Make You Blush and it has kind of like a rosy color and then kind of like a neutral peachy sort of a shade. One thing I notice about these is this right here that's surrounding these feels kind of cheapy. I mean, that's not a game changer, but that's just something I noticed. I don't mind with this adorable packaging. That's just an FYI. If you get it, don't be surprised by that. But these are really nice, they're really beautiful. And then there are three lip colors. There's Malted, Free Spirit, and Pink About It. These are the creamy lip colors. So here are the swatches. There is Bluebell. There is Status Glow. There's the Blush Duo. And here are the lip colors. So that one right there is Malted. The one in the middle is Free Spirit. And the one on the end is Pink About It. I think this is all so pretty. The blushes are really nice. They wear well. Really the only feedback is I noticed a little bit of fading with these, so just wear a good base with those, but the lip colors are all really pigmented, comfortable. You have to watch their videos on the Merle Norman um, YouTube page, YouTube page, their YouTube channel, because they have really cute, um, just really pretty eye looks and makeup looks that they do with this collection. So that before I received these, that made me even more excited about the collection, just because it's like, country and cute and fun and just like trendy. I think that they did such a good job with like a trendy, fun spring collection. So I'm loving this one. Ofra also sent me some goodies recently. So they brought back some of their metallic shades, which is really exciting. I think these are so pretty. This one right here, I'm so glad they brought this back because this is absolutely beautiful, one of my favorite metallic looking lip colors in my collection. I think it's just gorgeous. So let me run through these. So over here, starting down there, that one is Versailles. 
The pinky purpley one is Wonderland. The next one is Monaco. And then Emerald City is that kind of like greeny sort of color. So that one's a little bit out there. So you gotta be like up for sort of like creative makeup with that one. This one and this one have a slightly like thinner sort of a texture. I prefer the texture on these two. So those are my favorite of the four, but I do really like the color of this one. But Versailles is absolutely the standout favorite for me. And then over here, they also sent me the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials collection. I don't know if this is still in stock, but I just wanted to show it to you just in case. So here, that color is Spell. In the middle is Coven. That nude, which I'm obsessed with, is Nude Potion. And then the highlighter is called Everglow. Can I get it out there? Yes, Everglow. So there they are swatched individually, and there it is swatched all swirled together. Gorgeous. I love Ofra. I think they're just a really solid company with sweet, kind people, and they make great products. So just every time they come out with something new, I'm so excited about it because they just make good makeup. You know what I mean? So there is that collection. And there are those metallic liquid lipsticks. And then Makeup Geek was so sweet and sent me a bunch of their lip products. So I have some of their iconic lipsticks, some of their plush mattes, some of their plush creams, and some of their foils. So let me run through the different ones. So the iconic lipsticks look like this, and they're kind of like a long sort of a lip product, lip color, lip tube. What am I trying to say? <laughs> it's a lipstick that's a long lipstick in a tubey sort of a thing. So that's the packaging on those. They look really beautiful. There are like cream finishes and mattes in that line. So let me run through the colors I have in those. This one right here is Proper. That one is Shy. This one is Vain. This one is Saucy. And this one is lively. I think I like the creams the best. Um, the mattes are definitely more of a dry matte, so you have to like a dry matte. Um, but lively has a really nice texture to it. It's like not overly matte. I don't mind these because I like matte lipsticks, but if you don't like matte lipsticks, then I would probably go with the creams. But lively seems to be like a really nice version, a slightly creamier version of the mattes. So there are those. Then there are the plush mattes, so they look like this, and they're just like a really nice liquid lipstick. I like these a lot. I feel like they're kind of like a combination between the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lip Colors, which I love, and the Ofra ones. I feel like they're kind of in between. So they move a little bit, but not too much. Just like enough to make them comfortable, you know what I mean? So those are right in here. So this color right there is Beach Bunny. In the middle there, that one is Tomboy. Such a cool color. That one's really neat, like a gray kind of a shade. That one right there is Marriage Material. That one's a pretty kind of like deep mauve shade. So those are the three I have of that. Then there are the Plush Creams. I don't notice a huge difference between these and the Plush Mattes. Um, the Plush Mattes maybe just like set down a little bit more quickly than these. Um, these stay slightly creamier, but still long wearing, um, and they really do set down on the lips. They just kind of don't start out quite as matte, I guess, as the plush mattes do, but I, I really like them both. So that one right there is Trophy Wife, really pretty fun red. Right there is Old Soul. Old Soul? Yeah, Old Soul. This one is a really neat, like edgy sort of a color. That one is Trailblazer. And then at the top there, that one is Jet Setter. Kind of a mustardy kind of a nude. That one's really cool. So yeah, there are those so far. And then the last thing that they sent me are three of their foiled um, lip glosses. Now, I've heard people say that these aren't sticky. I think these are a little bit sticky, but I don't think they're uncomfortably sticky, but I, I would say they're a little bit sticky. Love the packaging on them. It's that really long skinny tube. It's got like a glittery sort of a lid. Just really beautiful packaging to them. Long sort of an applicator. 
and it's kind of like a bendy doe foot sort of an applicator to them. So let's run through the colors that I have of those. They are over here on the end. So at the bottom there, that one is VIP, a really beautiful kind of pinky nude, I would describe it as. In the middle is Set List, kind of a pinky mauve, rosy shade, really beautiful. And then that dark shade is Acoustic, kind of a more intense sort of a color. Pretty, pretty. So there are all of those. I've been having so much fun playing with these and I wanna play with them more. I'm just so grateful to get to try these out. So I would say favorites would be this one, VIP. Um, Lively, I really like this one, Beach Bunny. Um, and I really like, where is it? This one, Tomboy. That one's like a really cool edgy color. So those are probably the standouts to me, but I really do like the formula on all of them. Just the thing to note is you have to like an intent, like a, a more dry, intense matte lipstick to like the mattes, just as an FYI, but cool product. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up and make this part one of this haul. So I will have a part two for you guys coming soon. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what do you think about these products? If you've tried them out, let me know your thoughts. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.